Shizuku is a first-year student who sits next to Haru. Haru never comes to class and has a terrible reputation at school. Rumors are he is a violent delinquent and that he beat up several upperclassmen students on his first day at school. Shizuku is just focused on studying because she dreams of becoming incredibly rich one day. One day, Shizuku is approached by her teacher Siko, who wants Shizuku to persuade Haru to stop skipping school. If Haru keeps missing too many days, he will eventually become expelled. Shizuku just agrees to bring schoolwork to Haru's house in exchange for cash to buy study guides, but she ends up getting caught by him and called a spy. Haru ends up confusing the situation and believes that Shizuku is his friend because only friends help each other with schoolworks. Later, Haru kidnaps Shizuku to show her a stray dog he is taking care of and she persuades him to find the dog's owner. Haru also introduces Shizuku to his rough friends, and Shizuku quickly realizes that Haru's friends are taking advantage of him. Haru still confuses Shizuku as his friend, but Shizuku corrects him to say that she has no friends. They end up in a fight and Shizuku runs away. Later, Shizuku overhears Haru's so-called friends making fun of him, and she can't help but defend Haru. Before they can attack her, Haru arrives to chase them off. Later, Shizuku sees Haru crying and realizes that he doesn't know how to act around people. Feeling bad for him, she gives him a hug and he agrees to go to school again. But Haru unexpectedly confesses to Shizuku, shocking her. Haru goes back to school again, but he seriously lacks social skills which gets him into a lot of trouble and Shizuku has to help him. Haru also keeps confessing his love to Shizuku, which annoys her because it messes with her studying. One day, a bored Haru points out that Shizuku doesn't do anything but study, and Shizuku tells him that she wants to become the best student to get revenge on the first place student. Shizuku suddenly remembers that Haru was actually the highest scoring student in the class before he dropped out, and that he skipped out on their opening ceremony. One day, Haru defends her too strongly, and accidentally hurts Shizuku and she denounces their friendship. Haru gives her space which allows her to be the highest scorer on the midterm exams. Shizuku later apologizes to Haru and thanks him for helping her, and they reconcile their friendship. One day they end up agreeing to go eat together, and on the way Haru shocks Shizuku by kissing her. But he doesn't understand the significance because his experience with romance is from books. Shizuku and Haru make it to the restaurant Haru wanted to try, and Shizuku eats quickly to try to forget about Haru's kiss. Even after their time together, Shizuku has trouble concentrating at home while working with her father because she is troubled by the kiss. Shizuku also discovers that the only reason she was the highest scorer in the exams is because Haru purposefully flunked the test for her sake. Meanwhile, Shizuku finds out that Haru has been smuggling a lost rooster to school. Since Haru loves to take care of strays, he wants to find it a home. Later after school, a girl named Osako approaches them but she trips in the street. They take her to a nearby restaurant where she introduces herself. Osako is a terrible student, so she asks Shizuku to help her study for a makeup exam so she doesn't have to go to extra classes and can meet her online friends. Shizuku refuses, but before they can leave Osako reveals that she only has online friends because the rest of the girls shun her due to her good looks. Osako talks about how she found friendship online, so Haru agrees to help Osako if she takes him to her online meetup so he can make more friends. Shizuku reluctantly agrees to participate, but they quickly find that Osako is very hard to tutor. Meanwhile, another boy named Sasahara agrees to take care of the rooster. Eventually, after much tutoring, Osako passes the exam, but Haru causes trouble at the online meetup. Later, Shizuku and Haru talk on the school roof, and Shizuku misses a class for the first time. Shizuku thinks about how Haru changed her, and admits she loves him. In the end, we learn that Osako gives advice about love to her online friends, who are interested in the occult. Still on the rooftop, Shizuku realizes what she said and quickly tells Haru she doesn't like him in that way. Haru says he's okay with whatever she feels. Meanwhile Haru, Asako, and Sasahara get permission from the school to keep the rooster there because Sasahara's cat causes problems at home for the rooster. They all decide to make a chicken house for the rooster, and after they need more help, they get Haru's tough friend's help, and everyone finishes the house together. Later after walking home together, Haru mentions that good things happen after meeting Shizuku. She admits she loves him, but Haru thinks his love might be different. Later, Haru gets a message from his cousin Mitsuyoshi that his older brother Yuzon is visiting, so he asks Shizuku if he can stay at her place for the night to avoid him. Shizuku takes Haru home to her dad's surprise, where he soon makes himself comfortable. Although he causes her some embarrassment by walking around shirtless, Shizuku eventually tucks him into bed. Days pass, and at school, many students are still scared of Haru. Shizuku tells him to stop glaring at them all the time, in an effort to change his reputation. Haru attempts to improve his reputation by smiling and helping others. This ends up improving his reputation immensely, and all the girls become struck by his kind demeanor. 
and his good looks. Soon way too many girls at school start to like him, and Haru becomes very popular amongst the girls at schools. Asako and Shizuku notice the changes to his reputation, and Shizuku starts to feel jealous. Asako notices Shizuku's jealousy, and starts to tease her as well. The fan club starts to emerge around Haru, and he gets lots of free food at lunch. But when a shy and unpopular girl named Chizuru gets bullied, Haru steps in and fights the older bullies. Unfortunately, this ends up spoiling his reputation again because Chizuru is unpopular. Haru starts to wonder if he's doing the right thing by fighting all the time, but Shizuku tells him that people will eventually see his kindness. Later when summer starts, they all go on a mountain trip where Mitsuyoshi accidentally reveals to the group that Haru has an older brother named Yuzan. But quickly Haru changes the subject, making Shizuku wonder what happened between them. When they come back from the trip, they end up meeting Haru's brother Yuzan. It becomes obvious that Haru and Yuzan really don't get along when Haru runs away as soon as he sees Yuzan. Yuzan asks about Haru's life in school, and about the friends he is making. But Shizuku is suspicious of him. She later meets Haru while returning home, and he won't explain why he doesn't like Yuzan. She doesn't try to get him to answer and they end up eating watermelon together. Still, Shizuku wants to know more about Haru's past. So when Yuzan meets her after school, she asks him about the brothers' past together. Yuzan explains their dad made Haru leave home when he was in middle school, which caused a break in the family. Now their dad wants Haru to come back. But after observing Haru and his new friends, Yuzan wants Haru to stay in school especially since it seems that Shizuku is helping him. Haru suddenly appears after thinking Yuzan is threatening Shizuku, and he refuses to return home. But before they leave, Shizuku asks Haru to hear Yuzan's side of the story. Yuzan explains that their dad will pressure Haru to drop out, and go to a school he can control if he finds out Haru is reintegrating back into society. So Yuzan will keep things quiet so that Haru can stay in his current school, and closer to Shizuku. Still suspicious, Haru eventually takes Shizuku and leaves. Meanwhile, Shizuku admits that she would be very sad if Haru left school, and Haru says he just wants to be with her. Shizuku thinks about how her life has changed since meeting Haru, and how she might have feelings for Haru. The next day at school, Chizuru thanks Haru for helping her but Shizuku sees that Chizuru blushes when she talks to Haru. Shizuku soon realizes that thinking about Haru too much is making her grades go down and she ends up getting 29th place in the practice exams. At the same time, Chizuru has a hard time dealing with her feelings for Haru, and her struggles as an introvert. She talks to Haru about not being able to make friends, and he tries to get everyone to help figure out how Chizuru can be more social. Unfortunately, this leads to an argument between Shizuku and Haru and Shizuku starts to ignore him. Chizuru seems to notice that Shizuku is okay being alone, but she can tell that they secretly want to talk to each other again. She also notices that Haru and Shizuku seem to have trouble understanding each other, which makes her suddenly scold both of them, surprising everyone. Shizuru runs away, but Haru runs after her to comfort her. Shizuku also apologizes to Haru for her behavior after realizing she was taking out her frustration on him due to her scoring lower on the practice exams. Eventually, Haru takes Shizuku on a library date, but during the date she tells him she doesn't like him anymore, and that she needs to focus on studying which shocks him. When Osako finds out about their date, she gets sad because Shizuku doesn't want to share her experiences, but Osako is comforted by the others. Meanwhile, Haru remembers moments with his aunt Kayoko when she tried to connect with him. Haru's constant attention at school bothers Shizuku, and she asks for space so that she can focus on improving her grades again. Later, Osako adds that girls really dislike being touched by people they don't like which shocks Haru. Meanwhile, Chizuru tells Haru that Shizuku still worries about him even if she is very focused on getting good grades again. Time passes, and while going to get her mock exam results, Shizuku talks to Haru's friend Kenji about her priorities and that she has chosen studying over Haru. Haru tells Shizuku his feelings again and almost kisses her, but he stops, remembering what Osako said. But even though he is being considerate, this ends up backfiring and Shizuku runs away because she still likes Haru. And even though she's trying to control her feelings, she secretly wanted to be kissed again. Later, Haru gets mad when he sees Kenji with Shizuku. He tries to hit Kenji but accidentally hits Shizuku instead. Shizuku talks to Osako about Haru's behavior, but when Osako tries to help, Shizuku acts coldly. While they walk, Kenji tells Shizuku that she's also responsible for hurting Haru by not being honest about her feelings. Suddenly, Kenji grabs Shizuku and hides in an empty room to avoid Yuzan. Haru and Chizuru arrive at the room as well because they are also avoiding Yuzan as well. While hidden, Shizuku overhears that her indecision with her feelings is causing a lot of pain for Haru. Suddenly, Yuzan enters and Haru holds Chizuru in front of him as a threat. He stops when he sees other people watching. Shizuku and Haru end up admitting their mistakes to each other and they decide they need to fix things with their relationship. Shizuku also apologizes to Asako for her cold behavior. 
Shizuku admits to Haru she was scared that if she loved him, her schoolwork would suffer and scoring good grades is very important to Shizuku's life goals to earn lots of money to help her family. She asks for time to think about their relationship, and he agrees. A month after the school festival, Shizuku's dad's store fails for the sixth time, which makes her sad and emphasizes her goal to earn enough to save her family. She tries to stay calm and detach herself from the situation. Meanwhile, her dad apologizes for Shizuku's childhood, because since both her parents were always working Shizuku grew up on her own, and therefore can't show her feelings very well as a result. Later at school, Haru, Sasahara, and Osako study together. Shizuku realizes she hasn't thought much about her relationship with Haru as she's been focused on studying. Haru learns that Shizuku never had a goldfish as a pet, so he tries to catch crayfish for her by the river. Shizuku meets Kenji at the library. She asks him about her priorities in a clear way. At the same time Osako and Sasahara study at a bakery together. Some girls say mean things near Osako, but Mitsuyoshi makes them leave, and Osako starts liking Mitsuyoshi. Later, the group meets Haru by the river. When they're leaving, Haru meets Kenji, who gives Shizuku's pencil back. Haru asks Kenji about his feelings for Shizuku, and Kenji asks if he did have feelings for Shizuku, would that bother Haru? One day, Osako plans a surprise Christmas party at Mitsuyoshi's batting cages, but the surprise is ruined when Shizuku talks to her, and she spills the beans. While they're heading to buy party food, Haru's tough friends and Kenji invite themselves to the party as well. The party turns out different from what Osako wanted, but everyone still has fun. Sasahara notices Osako likes Mitsuyoshi, which disappoints him a bit since he harbored a crush for her. Outside, Haru warns Kenji to stay away from Shizuku, but Kenji doesn't listen and questions why he even fell for her. Later, while walking Shizuku home, they talk about their relationship and Haru admits he's jealous of Shizuku going to winter classes with Kenji. After thinking for months and getting advice from Kenji, Shizuku finally tells Haru that he shouldn't worry because she does love him, which makes Haru happy. Though when Shizuku goes to the cram school, Haru causes a scene when she's with Kenji. In the end, he continues to embarrass her in public, telling her to go straight home. Later they see Chizuru with her friend Yu, who teases Chizuru about liking Haru. Although Kenji at first told Haru he didn't have feelings for Shizuku, Kenji has started to realize he might actually have romantic feelings for Shizuku. While they walk to cram school, Kenji and Haru argue because Haru is jealous. This ends with Haru accidentally hitting Shizuku on the head with a can when Kenji dodges it. In class, Kenji accidentally tells Shizuku he'd be a better partner for her. But while Shizuku doesn't give him a straight answer she says nice things about Kenji, making him happy. Later, Kenji gets lost on the way home and meets Haru, who offers to walk with him. Kenji remembers their past, how Haru used to be violent in elementary school. After Kenji leaves, Haru is alone at the bus stop and thinks about his past with Yuzon. Haru used to cause a lot of trouble for his family when he was younger, which ended up throwing the family into chaos. This ended up with Yuzon wishing Haru never existed, which caused the rift between the two brothers. Meanwhile, Shizuku shows up, and Haru finally tells her how he truly feels. He talks about how his strange ways of showing love seem to make people hate and leave him, and Shizuku realizes that her lack of understanding her own feelings is causing a rift between her and Haru. Later, a reluctant Osako goes to the batting cages to give back something she borrowed from Sasahara. While there, a boy named Yana tries to flirt with her, and his friends tease him. Upset by their behavior, Osako leaves and tells Sasahara she dislikes boys because they make other girls avoid her. Osako decides to go to a teyaki restaurant with Haru, where she reveals that Haru is the only boy she feels safe with because she knows that he only likes Shizuku. Soon the school year ends, and everyone goes their own ways, leaving Osako feeling alone because she doesn't have many friends outside of school. Unexpectedly, Shizuku asks her for a favor which leads to them having a sleepover together. Haru also tells Osako that even though the school year has ended, she can visit him anytime she wants. Osako is happy to be able to spend time with her friends, but she also wonders if she will have the opportunity to spend time with them if eventually Haru and Shizuku become a couple. Meanwhile, Sasahara invites them to celebrate the new year together. Later, they go to the roof of the batting cages to watch the first sunrise of the year. And there, Osako accidentally confesses her feelings to Mitsuyoshi, leaving him surprised. After New Year's, Shizuku is studying when Haru arrives at her room from the window. A panicked Haru tells Shizuku he is searching for someone. But he runs off before he can elaborate, leaving her confused and forgetting his phone by accident. Later, Haru runs into Osako while she is at a cafe. Haru demands to know if she has seen somebody, but he doesn't understand her and he runs off leaving his net behind. Haru also meets Sasahara who also doesn't understand what he is talking about and leaves his goggles before running off. A concerned Sasahara calls Shizuku if Haru visited her while acting strange, and they confirm that Haru left some of his belongings with them by accident. Osako arrives at the batting center bringing his net, and meets Shizuku who is dropping off his phone. 
Meanwhile, Hara runs into Kenji and accidentally leaves his keys with him. Eventually, Sasahara also returns Haru's goggles, and his friends start to think Haru is looking for Nagoya. Haru's rooster after Nagoya is found by Yu, Chizuru's friend. By this time, Kenji and Haru's rough friends have arrived, and they decide they need to contact Haru since his rooster has been found. His friends go to look for him by the river, and Shizuku eventually runs into him but he confirms that he wasn't searching for his rooster. Haru was actually looking for a firefly that he can watch with Shizuku, and suddenly they see a nearby firefly in the snowfall, and watch it together, while Shizuku hopes that someday she and Haru can have a real relationship. And this is all for this video, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.